what's going on everyone my name is elite spartan and welcome back to my channel today guys we'll be continuing where we left off in my assassin's creed valhalla walkthrough today guys we'll be continuing on with the asgard story arc if you guys are new here please be sure to subscribe to my channel for more weekly game walkthroughs like this without further ado guys we're gonna hop back right into this all right, all right guys here we are back in the plaza area of asgard our current objective is to visit Avi avides forge are they got how you pronounce it and this chapter is called forging in a bond i'm not exactly sure what we're going to be doing this episode my last chapter into this arc was a couple epi episodes ago, if I'm correct. I think it was like episode like 17 or something when I last played this arc. I was at a very low level then, so I just started continuing on with the main storyline. I was just gonna come back later when I finally hit power or 90. But I think our objective is up here. We should be strong enough now to handle the rest of the story arc. If not, I will I will just probably like continue on with the main storyline or something to just get to the appropriate power level. Because I do not want to just the, this whole story arc unprepared again. I remember the last time I, I played the story arc, I was very under leveled and I couldn't even beat the boss. It was a pain in the ass. I think I raged in that video a lot. <laughs> Alright, looks like my objective is right over here. Or it looks like we just need to jump down here. Alright, here we are. Alright, looks like we're doing some dun dungeon exploring for a minute. No offense. I'm merely a seeker of knowledge. The dwarves give nothing away for free. Apologies for the distraction, Master Blacksmith. I leave you to your work. Well, what shall I craft for you today, High One? Bottomless breaches for soiling yourself on the battlefield? All right, so we have three options to choose from. Get asked what is Huger or magic, or we could do the other two options, which is will Dwarf survive Ragnarok, or what did, did the builder want? Let's ask. I'm gonna go with what, what did the were builder you want. And the builder discussing? Harvey, my gentle jailer, you know we dwarves give nothing away for free. If you want your question answered. I'll need something in return. Such as? A hidden fact known only to you, Farseer. That I may share in your secret knowledge of the world. Alright, so great. Eight horses is draw all the sun and the moon. An eagle's wing stirs the wind. Or humans will survive Ragnarok. Hmm. I'm gonna say great horses draw all the sun and the, the sun moon. The sun and the moon are pulled by two horses across the day and night skies. 
Skim Faxir and Chaim Faxir are their names. And each morning's dew is the fallen slopper from Chaim Faxir's foaming mouth. Curious. Thank you, Harvey. So, you asked what that sack of sheep guts was after? He wanted to know how magic affected your hooger. Why would he want to know the effect of magic on my spirit? Not just you, Harvey. The lot of you. Aesir and Vanir alike. I told him to shovel his shit somewhere else. Now, if that's all you came to know, you can piss off and let me work. I have one more need. Can you forge me an unbreakable chain? Chains are overrated. One weak link and it's worthless. Let me craft a cord that Thor himself could not break. It must be strong enough to bind a powerful beast. I will sluice my sweat into this cord, Harvey. All knowledge I have and skill I own will define it. And what will I get in return? My gratitude, your freedom. I'm gonna say my, my gratitude. My thanks and my hospitality. What more could you need? Ugh. You cannot barter with a man who's squeezing your balls. You may always return to the land of fire, Ivaldi, and die as your brothers did, roasted on a spit. Hmm. To craft such a cord, I'll need a few impossible ingredients. Name them. I the list there. I have a bear's tendon, a fish's breath, and a cat's footsteps, and the root of a mountain. How do I find these? How the fuck would I know? The riddles will guide you. I have no patience for riddles, dwarf. Those riddles are as ancient as the world, with lore passed down from Nii and Nidi to Northri and Suthri, Austri and Vestri, Althjover. I understand. I will return shortly. Valin, Bevor, Babur, Bombur, Nori, Arn and Arnan, I. Alright, so it looks like we have two new quests that we need to complete here. Alright, so Asgard. Let's see here. We can do these two new quests. So we need to collect a cat. Footfall, whatever that is, or collect the root of a mountain. What the fuck, man? Alright, let's go with uh, this one, at, I guess. Alright, so let's see. Let's look at our map real quick. Where do we need to go for this mission? It's not really telling us where to go. Are you kidding me? It's a riddle? What kind of bullshit is this? So we must collect the root of a mountain. Our Ovadi is riddle. Those are in your inventory a, a quest items. So let's head on over to my inventory real quick. And let's look at our quest items. Here we are. Alright, so we want this one right here. Potential or at its peak. Cradled in rock at Asgard's highest height, a sea eats sleeps in humans. And cold grip. Warm it, it awake. Bring 
get it to the water or for a full for an old bone to sprout with new life so it's the highest peak in Asgard it looks like so where the hell would the highest peak be Oh no, we don't want to do that. That will just wake us up. Hmm, this might be very difficult. Where would... Asgard's highest peak be. Uh, this looks like a high peak right here. Let's try over here real quick. At this little viewpoint, I'm guessing. should be able to get to the next area by just going in this direction. I'm hoping that this is, it will solve the riddle. If not, I might have to go on my phone and see how to solve this riddle because I'm not very good at solving them myself. Okay, if this is not the highest peak, I don't know what it is in Asgard. This looks like the right place. I swear, dwarves would choose riddling over rutting. Oh. So I guess this is the right area. Oh, there here it is. The seed in the mountain's rocky grip. Some heat may free it from its shell. Alright guys, so uh, I ended up finding it by just climbing in the highest mountain with the viewpoint on it. So uh, let me just quickly get this view viewpoint and uh, we'll take a look at the next part of the riddle. So let me quickly look at the next part of the riddle. Go down to here. Warm it, wake, bring into water for our old bone to sprout with new life. So I guess what that means is we need to take it to the water down below for it to sprout new life, I'm guessing. Jesus Christ, man. That is one hell of a dive. I swear to God. Okay. Thank God, man. I was gonna say, uh, if I didn't do a leap of faith there, I think that would have been the end of us. So what I think we have to do is bring it down to the lake down here. For it to sprout new life. Let me just quickly descend the mountain. I 
This is one big ass mountain, man. I'm gonna say that right now. I should probably uh, invest in the break fall oh, ability when I get the chance. I must be careful now. <laughs> Alright, so where is the water? Give me one second, guys. Oh, you want some? You think you, you can fucking run from me with a fucking and shield? I think that motherfucker's dead. down this way. Jesus Christ, man. It take forever to get to the fucking mover. Alright, here we are, finally. Well, I think once we get down here to the river, we should be able to... Complete this side quest. Ha! Huh. How the hell do we complete the side quest then? Please don't tell me I have to go back up there. <laughs> Alright, give me one second, guys. Alright, guys, so... I, s I went on the internet real quick because... I was confused of what we were supposed to do. Apparently, I'm supposed to take a torch and just light the hay on fire, apparently. So it's not letting me light the thing on fire. So, I really don't know what I'm supposed to be doing right now. <laughs> Alright, there we go. There we go. So, was that it? Alright, so now I guess we're supposed to somehow pick up the seed. But it's not really giving me a thing to say I can touch the seed. I'm really so confused right now. Do I have the damn thing in my inventory? What the hell's going on? Sprout 
without root until I get it into some water. All right, here we go. Now I can carry the seed. Now I guess I need to find an area where there's some water. Go shit, now the seed! Where'd the seed go? Okay, it's back over here. Alright, so how do I get this down to a pond? But I'm on a cliff edge right now, so... I guess is I just chuck it down the cliff edge right here. Nope, that's not gonna work. So there's gotta be a way down the mountain without fucking jumping down, I'm guessing. Nope, not that way. Is there a way for me to just put it in my inventory or something? Because... I'm not going to be able to bring down the mountain with me. Oh, I see. I must retrieve the root for Ivaldi before it takes hold. There we go. Now we perform a leap of faith into the water. And now we can grab the root. Alright, there we go. That one completed. So let me l quickly look at the next riddle in my inventory. Okay, so this one says over the gate to the great north hall, a golden cat sits patiently glazing in upon many a tall towers. She'll flee when and she is found, but follow oh, without fear. Look to leap and descend. Once she leads you to the end, she may a ghost to the ground land as well and swiftly steal her sound so I'm so I'm saying the great Norse also I'm guessing this is just me but I I feel like that is referencing uh, like Asgard's flown and shit I fucking committed suicide all right come on man actually get on the tree this time and perform a leap of faith into a haystack. Do not jump off the fucking tree to your fucking death. This will probably kill you too in real life, but hey, video games. Let's just quickly dispatch these wolves.
Alright guys, so I'm I finally reached the Nord Hall. For all like the Asgardian is dying and all that stuff. So what I, I or what I read online, I need to me. send out my raven and I'm looking for a gold glow oh, apparently. Looking for Ah I think that's the cat right there. Yep, that's the cat. Alright, so I need to make my way over there. And let me deploy me what lies ahead. him again so I can get a rough of area of where I spot him. Alright, he's right in front of me. So he's gonna be up in this area over here. Right up this building. Alright, now I think I need to climb this pillar right here. We're just slowly inching our way up the pillar. Oh, he's over there on that pillar. I see him. I see the guy now. I see you. I see you, golden cat. Looks like we gotta go up here. What a Freya statues. What? Who you, you up here, little fucking cat? bastard. So that's how it is. Lead the way, nimble one. Alright, he went, he's down here now. Let's keep following him. Alright. Here I come, man! You can't hide from me, cat. You ain't getting away from me! Where do you go now? There he is. Jesus Christ. This thing in likes to fucking run away from me. <laughs> Alright, looks like we need to do a leap of faith go. down to the now. haystack. I have it. Who knew you could capture a sound? Alright, there we go. Let's see what you can make of these, Ivaldi. Alright, so we complete it in the last two missions of this story arc so what I'm thinking I'm gonna do now guys since we're almost 15 minutes into this episode I'm gonna end it here or today and when we come back next time we'll be continuing on with the Asgard story arc of my Assassin's Creed Valhalla walkthrough I hope you all enjoyed this video and I will see you all very soon and have a very Merry Christmas have a good one, guys. We wish you a Merry Christmas. We wish